Welcome back to episode 9 of Comic Book Savant Video. This week I wanted to talk about another trade paperback that I had a chance to read uh, over the past few weeks, which is Chew Volume 2. Um, it's called International Flavor. Uh, I, re I reviewed the first trade of Chew many years ago, had been meaning to get back to it. I had bought subsequent trades of the series. The series have now uh, ended. It ran about 60 some odd issues. Um, very unique. Done by John Lehman and Rob uh, Guillory, if I pronounce it correctly. Um, International Flavor is the second volume. It covers uh, issues 6 through 10. Um, continuing the story of uh, Chu, the detective with the unique you know, powers of uh, anything he eats or tastes that he can get further information in view. Um, kind of a concept you see from iZombie where the, the lead character on that show, you know, when she eats the brain, she picks up the traits from that character. He gets the memories of whatever he eats and samples and he uses that to solve crimes. It's a very unique comic because it is kind of buddy cop, procedural, um, dark humor can be very dark, but the thing that offsets the darkness in the what could be considered, um, I guess, gory material is that uh, Rob Guillory's pencils are very cartoonish and they're very exaggerated. So it gives it this unique balance and it's very comical yet dark yet satirical. It's a great mix and it's just something different when you're looking, you know, as comic readers, sometimes we can get so fatigued with just your standard run, of, not run of the mill, but just so overran with your standard superhero fare is something that's totally different and off the beaten path and refreshing. Um, I always enjoy it. You know, I, it always stuck in my head from years ago when I read volume one. Um, which is Taster's Choice, and I will have a link down below in the description of the um, audio episode of the podcast where I reviewed that first trade as well. Um, so again, it was just a good series, something refreshing. When you're looking for something different from you know your normal thing, like I said, I love independent comics in that way. Of I'm a diehard comics fan um, through and through. Superhero comics is, you know, my bread and butter and what I've read from a small child to now, but just every now and again, you need something different. So don't be afraid to, to venture out. You know, image is great for that. Now, a lot of great creators that have been there that, you know, like I said, this series has ended. Um, I haven't kept up with it, but I've bought this. Like I said, I bought, mo I have most of the series in trade, so I'll be doing more uh, follow-up reviews on Chew and it will not take that long because going back reading it It was just a real like I said real pleasure very entertaining um, very vibrant in the energy that the writer as well as the The artists bring bring to the book, but this is uh, one of these that I would like to call um, a, a Jim and a, a Jim and a rough type thing. It's just it's is one of those things you don't hear about it when it was the they got nominated for a couple of Eisner Awards. I can't remember if they won or not, because um, like I said, this is an older series. So this is a hidden gem is the word I was looking for. This is really a hidden gem. Um, you, I think at one point it was optioned for a TV show and or movie um, that nothing ever really came to pass of it. I don't know if it's still in development now and it, you know, will eventually get it. But um, it's a very strong series. Like I said, if you're looking for something comedic, um, I will best describe it as a dark comedy, but you have that aspect aspects of it being um, a procedural because he's a detective. He works for the FDA, but I don't want to get too much into the, to the background of it because you definitely want to check this out and see how unique and crazy this this world is that they have to play around with and they have a really good grasp on these characters and just really have uh fun with the world so definitely if you have a moment check out chew uh volume two international flavor i'll have links below uh if you want to buy these books you'll i have i'll have links to volume one as well as volume two 
Um, you can find them relatively, you know, relatively cheap. The links will be down below as well. I'll have link uh, link to the episode where I reviewed the first uh, trade paperback, which is uh, two volume one taster's choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you again next week for another episode of comic books and my video. And you have a good week and be on the lookout. I know San Diego Comic Con is this weekend. Um, so I'll do a video next week, probably recapping some of the news, either between the audio or the next video you'll see me on here, or I might even do some really, really big news as announced. You'll see some more videos coming this weekend. If you're not aware, the audio podcast right now, one of my uh, sponsors is InStockTrades.com. So I'll put a link below. If you're not familiar with that service, it's a great service for trade paperbacks. Uh, we are running a 11th anniversary uh, contest because I'm coming up on my 11 year anniversary doing the audio podcast and um, we have a great contest running go giving away three gifts a $75, $50 and $25 gift certificate to in stock trade so you can get you a ton of these trades that I'm recommending to you guys so if you go to the website which is comicbooksavant.com go to the contact page and put in the subject line anniversary contest is one uh, entry per listener. So if you want to check that out as well, um, links to the website are always down in the contact information in the description below. Do that as well. So again, I'll see you guys next week and you guys enjoy and have a good weekend and news coming from San Diego Comic Con. Take care.